Whatever I see, I remember yo. If you remember me. Hello friends, welcome to Seven Minute Study. In this video, I am going to talk about various artificial intelligence artificial intelligence terms and terminology. First, let us look at art AI terms such as agent sensors and actuators AI terms uh, are the basic what do we say um, the concepts in artificial intelligence which uh, which depict how the machine or the system interacts uh, with its environment or it shows uh, these terms depict the relationship of an object with its environment that is an artificial intelligent object with it with its environment first what is an agent an agent is nothing but anything basically which can perceive its environment through some objects known as sensors and act upon its uh, environment through some objects known as actuators so let's take an example uh, let's say i'll explain some examples so that you can understand the concept pretty much clearer so I'll first explain about a robotic agent, robotics agent expl uh, example. Uh, before that, I'll just even uh, tell about the sensors and actuators. Sensors and actuators are nothing but objects which are uh, intact with the agent. Sensors are the objects which help the agent to perceive its environment or to uh, get some information about the environment uh, and. Uh, take and come to a conclusion and actuators are nothing but after the object uh, after the agent has come to a conclusion from its environment by using the sensors and gaining the information it will put out other information or the output onto the environment it will give out some information which affects the environment around it so such objects are known as actuators okay I'll explain the first example that is the robotics agent. In a robotics agent, uh, very, whereas uh, where the agent is a robot, uh, sensors are something which perceive its environment such as the cameras or infrared uh, range finders and uh, other sensors. Okay, these are used to uh, make or uh, uh, sometimes even the sound analyzer which will help the robot to hear, see and uh, uh, feel the environment around it and other actuators are used to produce a change upon its environment or its surroundings such as uh, various motors which make the motion possible and change becomes easier or it's pro uh, it produces changes in a software agent whereas in a software agent uh, the sensors are the keystrokes, file contents and other network pack packets. Uh, for network packets, we'll, we'd have to learn about uh, some computer networks, uh, which I'll explain in the future. Uh, so, these are the sensors which are used to get, gain data from its surroundings by the software agent and it will produce the changes upon a screen or uh, upon some writing files which are printed out and other network packets. Okay? Uh, this is how a computer a software agent would work and an internet shopping agent in an internet shopping agent the sensors are programming language files or programs such as HTML dynamic HTML or DHTML and pages such as text graphic script whereas the actuators are the forms which produce the changes in in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in a form of uh, some page or something to the uh, what do we say database administrator or the network head who holds the uh, control over the network so, uh, in, and display the user and also the URL uh, where we use we use the get method to get the what do we say the, all the variables used in the web page so that's what an internet shopping agent is about and now, about, uh, when we go to artificial intelligence terminology, we have percepts, percept sequence, agents and agent program, agent function and agent program. So what's a percept? Perce an agent's percept means some inputs given at, an in, at in any instant uh, by the sensors to the agent from its environment. Some of the example might be like a human agent percepts, percepts bird flying in the sky through eyes and takes it 
takes its snap and it's rem and we remember it okay that's an example of a percept so what's a percept sequence and a percept sequence is the complete history of anything the uh, agent or an object artificially intelligent object has ever perceived that is it has ever seen or it is ever recorded or is, uh, it has ever taken a snap off uh, an agent has a choice of action at any given instant and it can depend on the entire percept sequence the agent has record recorded the action on the environment can be changing by the percept sequence okay we can we can decide upon the any action to take uh, on the surrounding environment by based basing based upon the uh, percept sequence so the change in the percept forms a historical case like if i have seen a bird yesterday on my terrace again if i see a bird, the same bird on my terrace today i try to uh, fly it off or chase it off so that's how i take decisions based on the historical or percept sequence so what's an agent function now agent function is nothing but a mathematical function which maps or which matches any possible percept sequence to a possible action like if uh, if i have base, uh, many various various percept sequences uh, percepts in a percept perceptions in a percept sequence such as uh, i have seen a bird in, in, in on my terrace i have seen uh, it chasing a lizard or a worm and uh, uh, another percept is that uh, I have seen just a lizard there and I don't like it being there. So what I do, uh, if the bird was looking at the lizard and it was trying to kill it, I let it, I let it be there. If the bird was just there and, uh, and on the next day, this happens on the next day, first day I just see a lizard, uh, uh, if they, I have three percepts, three different percepts. I'll, uh, uh, I'll again explain the example clearly today is the first day today i have seen a lizard first percept is that i have seen a lizard on my on my terrace a lizard or a worm okay on my terrace and the second percept is that a bird is there on my terrace just idle these two cases are just idle and third percept case is that i see a bird on my terrace and it is trying to eat or kill the lizard or the worm present on my on my terrace these are the three percepts i three different percepts i can have on the first day or the day one of my observation on the second day i use the uh, future or the uh, history of perceptions to relate it with the current perceptions in the on the current on on today that is on the day two two i seen a lizard a bird and a bird a bird uh, watching its prey that is a lizard if the bird is trying to kill the lizard i'll just let it be there or if the bird is just there I'll try to chase the bird off and if the lizard only is there I'll go off I'll get out from there these are the three possible actions I can take from each possible percept in the percept sequence that is known as an agent function it maps to the different different possible actions based on its historical percept sequence so what's a what's an agent program an agent program is developed to tabulate all the functions that describe any agent any given agent so the uh, this agent, this agent program can be written on any using any artificially intelligent language. Um, so, uh, such as I've told LISP uh, in the uh, future in the uh, previous video. Uh, so, in the history of intelligence video, uh, you artificial intelligence you can watch it for uh, your reference. So, I can use such languages and write a program an agent program which uh, which tabulates all the uh, possible agent functions and take upon the given or the desirable action for correct and uh, efficient performance of the agent thanks for watching the video if you have any doubts please mention in the, in the comment section you, or you can even mail me thanks